This lab is being conducted to experimentally find the molar mass of butane. The first step for the experiment is to determine the mass of the lighter uh, before the experiment begins. So let's figure out what that is by placing it on the electronic balance. The starting mass of the lighter is 14.99 grams. Uh, this container of water has been sitting out at room temperature for more than 24 hours. Okay, so let's measure the water temperature. Temperature of the water is 20.5, 20.6 I've seen. Looks like it's right in between those two, between 20.5 and 20.6 degrees Celsius. The next step of our experiment will be to completely fill a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder with water. So I'll just submerge this in here. I'm get that completely filled. So I'll fill all the space at the top. And my next step will be to invert the graduated cylinder so that we can flip it upside down, keeping all the water in the cylinder. So I'll cover it with an index card, hold the index card in place, flip it, and get it underwater here. Okay. Let's take a close up look at this. So we can see that the graduated cylinder has been filled with water. And the reason why it's not emptying out is if the water were to empty out of the graduated cylinder, uh, there would be a need for something to fill that space, which would be a gas. Uh, but since the gas can't travel through the water to do that, it would create a vacuum pulling the water back up into the graduated cylinder. The next step in our experiment will be to dispense butane from the lighter into the graduated cylinder. We're going to do this underwater, so the dispensed gas is going to be traveling up the graduated cylinder, forming an air pocket in here. Uh, we want to dispense between 95 and 100 milliliters of gas. So I'm gonna angle my graduated cylinder, being careful to hold the open end under the surface of the water. I'm going to submerge the lighter, and get any bubbles out before I put it underneath the graduated cylinder. And then underwater, I'm going to depress the plunger here to dispense gas. So go ahead and do that. You can see the bubbles of butane traveling up through the graduated cylinder. And we're gonna to start to see a pocket of gas forming in the graduated cylinder. So again, I'm going to fill this until I've dispensed between 95 and 100 milliliters of butane. Now because of the angle, um, I'm going to let this go a little bit beyond what looks like 100, but I want to stop just short of that. Let's see, does that look good there? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, right now, from what I can see, when I match the water levels, I should uh, the water that is outside of the graduated cylinder is being pushed down by the atmospheric pressure in the room. The water that's inside the graduated cylinder is being pushed down by the gas inside of the graduated cylinder, which is butane plus water vapor. If I make the water levels match, that means that the pressure of the two gases inside the graduated cylinder are equal to the pressure in the room. If there's a bit of estimating here um, in this experiment. Again, I'm gonna match those water levels, uh, but it does look like a volume of 96.5 milliliters. Now we need to get an accurate measurement of the final mass of the lighter. It should be lower after having dispensed gas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some paper towel and try to thoroughly dry this lighter. So I'm going to get an accurate measurement of its mass. Just tape a little bit here too.
And we're gonna do a few um, cycles of drying and doing repeat measurements, okay? And um, I wouldn't normally do it this way, but I wanna just uh, show an exaggeration of why this is important. Um, so it looks like I have fully dried my lighter. I have what I think is a dry lighter. It's not really dry, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment here. So I'm measuring the mass of my lighter. And looks like it's reading 14.94 grams. So let's take this lighter and move it over this direction. And I want you to see this. Ready? You can see that there's water, quite a bit of water coming out of this lighter. So what we want to do is flick the lighter. Okay, just kind of flicking the wrist. I can get a lot of that water out of the lighter. dry here just to make sure we don't have anything on the outside of it click again zero our balance let's measure the mass 14.77 I'm going to stop measuring the mass at this point because uh, I have a repeat mass measurement now that's exactly the same as the previous one that allows me to um, infer that the lighter is now fully dried. So the final mass of the lighter is 14.77 grams.